All aboard for our North Dakota road trip part three, where Mandy, Orlando and Abraham's pretending to navigate in the back seat. So where on earth are we? Zoom into the United States and North Dakota is at the top and the border with Canada. In this video, we'll focus on the southwestern part of the state, Roosevelt National Park, one of the three national parks in North Dakota. We're in North Dakota in the Badlands, in the beautiful Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Stay tuned for breathtaking scenery, painted canyons, nature-made cannonballs of concrete, and we visit the small town of Medora. We learn the history of how it boomed and busted in the Broadway-esque show of the same name. And we get up close, but not too close, to wild horses, roaming buffalo, pop-up prairie dogs, and this great Pyrenees. Oh, hello. Long before President Theodore Roosevelt was a face in the rock in Mount Rushmore, he lived in the wilderness of the Badlands of North Dakota. Here's is a sad story. On Valentine's Day of 1884, both his wife and his mother died on the same day. He retreated into the rugged wilderness to seek solace and raise cattle. But less than three years later, he lost his herds to starvation in the severe winter of 1886. The park covers 110 square miles with the Little Missouri River flowing through. There are three parts, the North Unit, the South Unit and the remote Elkhorn Unit. The North Unit is the smallest, located in Watford City, and a 28 mile loop takes you to Oxbow Overlook. It's an hour drive, that's without traffic jams. The map will show you where to get out the car at the overlooks for the best photo opportunities for those willing to cooperate. It is windy up here, isn't it? Abraham, get out of there and come and look at these. They're cannonball concretions and magically formed in the rocks over the years. Have you ever seen anything like this? From the north unit, we drive to the south unit via Grassy Butt. I know, I just can't help myself. The south unit is the bigger, most visited part of the park and you drive around the 36 mile loop around stunning rock formations and there's a replica of Teddy Roosevelt's log cabin. Here is where you see most of the wildlife. Oh look, here come the buffalo. This guy, he's scratching that itch against the trunk of the tree. Oh yeah, right there. Oh, uh, that's the spot, that's the spot. Oh. What a beautiful sight. Wild horses running free. Except when they're running in front of your car. And if you want something tamer, you can always go horseback riding around the park with a guide. And for more entertainment, pull over at Prairie Dog Town and see pups popping their heads out of their holes. They squeak and they're so funny. I could watch them all day. Tracing the rim of the Badlands, these colourful layers of rock make up the Painted Canyon. Art in nature, it's stunning. How beautiful is that? It looks like it's painted. Christmas card. 
card shot. Look this way, Abraham. Medora is a town that boomed when a rich French guy, the Marquis de Morris, founded the town in 1883. With the railroads already built, the cattle industry boomed and Medora attracted ranchers and entrepreneurs from all over. But the severe winter three years later in 1886 killed off all the livestock and the town went bust. Present day Medora is a tiny town where history lives on. Although it's less than half a square mile in size with a population of 117, it attracts almost three quarters of a million tourists a year. That's the population of the entire state. People come to see this charming recreation of an old western town with its post office, hotels and saloons. And at night, Medora the Musical tells the story of its heyday and of Teddy Roosevelt in the gorgeous Burning Hills Amphitheatre. Think Broadway in the Badlands, it's a must-see. Our very last stop on this road trip was to the Enchanted Highway to see the world's largest metal sculptures created by local sculptor Gary Greff. And this is the first one, it's called Geese in Flight and it's made of uh, oil tanks and oil pipes and it's in the Guinness Book of Records. We've also got the Deer family, Grasshoppers in the Field and Fisherman's Dream and they're all worth a stop. What better way to honour Teddy Roosevelt than to build a sculpture weighing 9,000 pounds with him and his beloved horse, Molly. There he is. And last but not least is this weird tin family made out of used farming equipment. Mm -hmm. And from the Tin family and this family, it's time to say goodbye, because that's a wrap for this North Dakota video. Thank you for letting us share the world with the world. We'd love you to subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next video in a new state.